Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are Winter NAMM 2017 in Anaheim, California, talking to Jonathan from Hamer Guitars. Jonathan, you guys have relaunched a sort of mid-level uh, Hamer model. Well, not just one model, a whole series, right? Yes, Hamer is back. For those of you that don't know, Hamer began in the 70s at a partnership between Paul Hamer and Joel Danzig. And we brought it back this year with six new models. Here you're looking at the standard. It's a classic, one of the first bodies that Hamer made. We have a, the Vector V. We've got a couple Sunburst Archtop double cutaway guitars, a single cutaway guitar with a P90, and a classic single cutaway. Six models in total. Things that make it different. You want to talk about things that make it different from? Yeah, Old I was Hammer? just going to say, are the are there pretty standard features across all of them, or do they vary quite a bit? Well, actually, every one is kind of in an individual model with with a, with a target music style and customer in mind. So, for example, the standard that Johnny was playing, we got it. We got it rigged up with a couple of uh, a couple of really classic. Uh, you know, like a vintage voice humbuckers. Yes. Yeah, so, well, there are Nico fives. They're hot wound in the in the fingerboard, and then real hot at 16k in the bridge to give that classic classic metal sound versus that kind of scooped metal that's so prominent today. If you want to play classic metal, this is a guitar for you. We got the same pickups in the V, but a completely different pickup and voice pairings with the others. Okay. You so know, this one has the. A a uh, flamed maple top and is a ma mahogany on the back. Yeah, that's and neck. Yeah, that's correct. So it's a mahogany body, and where it's different than the old Hamers uh, that had a veneer uh, flame maple top, we decided to go for a solid maple top and then cap that with the veneer. So when you think of the old Hamers that were made in America, these things are going to sound real close to that original sound of the Hamers. Cool, Johnny. You want to play a couple other pickup combinations? Sweet. Now, okay, so you said the the standard here and the Vector have kind of the same pickup complement, yes, and then there's sort of a, a, a LP Junior-ish one, right? Yeah, so the uh, the Special Junior, which is a solid mahogany block, has P90, so it sounds like a kind of a vintage guitar right out of the gate. And then if we look at our single cutaway Monaco, when we're thinking of that, we're thinking classic rock. A little bit of distortion, but if you want that classic rock and roll tones, that's what's in there. So we put two Alnico 2 pickups in there and, and overwound them, so they're, they're, they're really beefy, not really that metal, but ro rock and roll. Um, and then the, the double cutaways, the sunburst arch tops, are modern versatile guitars. If we think of what people are looking for in a uh, figured maple top guitar, they're looking for versatility. And so we put a hot wound Alnico 2s in the bridge, but then, uh, I'm sorry, in the fingerboard, but then a ceramic running at 14 plus K in the back. So you can have real thick classic tones when you're up in the uh, fingerboard position, but if you do want to just chunk into that kind of scoop mid metal stuff, kick it to the bridge, fantastic sound. Um, in the Sunburst Arch Tops, we have uh, one that's with our traditional 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. The other one with the Wilkinson has a full 25 and a half inch scale, which also gives you another voice with all that extra tension and focus. So each one of these models suits a particular style of music and a style of player that we've matched kind of visually and sonically. So it's, you know, it's a really cool re-release of stuff here in Hamer. Cool. Tell us about the prices. Are they all kind of at the same level or do they vary a bit? Uh, the ranges are $6.99 up to $7.99, so it's still pretty affordable for a highly quality thing. You know, Hammer was the original boutique company uh, back in the day, and we want to be the continuing boutique company by bringing like nice guitars, really, really well-built guitars, but also tonally matched for the music that uh, that we play today. And like you mentioned, you know, originally they were very boutique, and you know, they had boutique prices. Um, or at least over the years as they developed, they became more boutique-y, and rightly so. They were amazing guitars. Um, but these are obviously much more affordable than those. Um, and where are these built? I'm sure people are curious about that. Sure, they're built at our shop in Indonesia, where many of the major brands are built. 
And the thing to realize is that guitars, especially electric guitars, are really better than they've ever been. You know, we when we went to the when our design team were putting this together and we were checking out Hamer USA versus Hamer Imports, well, the old imports, yeah, sort of, sort of okay, sort of maybe not so okay. But the, these guitars, we were really splitting hairs to notice the difference uh, between the original American Hamers and these. You know, and then there are differences. Yeah, it's not a solid figured maple block, which would raise the price by a few hundred dollars. They're not USA wound pickups, which would raise the price by another couple hundred bucks. But really, we got these pickups custom wound from a major manufacturer, building also for all the other brands to our specs. And with that solid maple cap and then the figured maple veneer, you know, it's maple. It's maple on mahogany. So whereas before you just had mahogany, kind of muddy, you throw that maple cap, it focuses it up, that's where you get those classic tones. And so that's the thought process that we did in re-releasing this, because we really wanted to produce a guitar that was dripping with all the Hamer vibe, but was accessible to a larger majority of people that want to be able to afford that vibe. Cool. Why don't you tell everyone where they can go online to find out more about these guitars, maybe find a dealer and stuff like that? It's hamer.com. Sweet. Thanks for playing, Johnny. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Jonathan. Thanks, thanks for joining John. us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.